Coral Castle was built from over, from over 1,100 tons of solid limestone by a man who said he knew the secrets of the pyramids. Tonight we disclose how he did it. Here at sashablack.co.uk. Sasha Black, let's say Sasha Black. .co.uk. Is a story entitled The Mystery of Sound Propulsion. Coral Castle and the Pyramids. And the author begins, I spend a lot of time sharing things I learned about the writing process. Where am I supposed to begin here? Start with the one, start with sound. <laughs> sound. The properties of sound are usually thought of as musical and entertaining. But sound propulsion and the ability to move objects using sound waves is fast becoming a tangible concept. It is said that the mystery of Coral Castle can be explained through sound. The 1100 ton stone structure built single-handedly by Edward Leedskalman, a five foot pound Latvian gentleman weighing 100 pounds. Now granting levit now, granted, levitating a foam cup with sound waves is quite different than levitating a 28-ton rock. But this is the mystery that surrounds the sculptures. Lee Scanlon worked alone and at night, shrouded in mystery, so that no one knew how he had done it. The Crystal Link's website explains the wonder of the entrance to the castle. The entrance is made through a gate fashioned from a single coral block, weighing nine tons. This miraculous monolith is approximately 80 inches wide, 92 inches tall, and 21 inches thick. It fits within a quarter inch of the walls on either side, and pivots through an iron rod resting on an automobile gear. The enormous block balances so perfectly on its center of gravity Elder Grown, thank you for the super chat. Elder Grown says, hello, Bill and friends. I just got back from dinner with mom. A seven hour round trip. I'm so glad you can, you're here to relax with us. Thank you, Elder. The enormous block balances so perfectly on its center of gravity that a visitor can easily push it open with one finger. People who are sensitive to electromagnetic energies will sometimes report headaches while standing inside the archway of the nine-ton swinging gate, thought to be over a vortex and a major grid point of the planet. So how did he do it? There were rumors Lee Scalin used strange cone-shaped objects, which emanated sound to levitate the enormous stone objects. Cone-like objects similar to the one on the left, Right here. This particular one, however, is rather more ancient. It's thousands of years old and covered in cuneiform scripture. An extremely ancient language developed by the Sumerians between 3000 and 3500 BC. The author writes, I visited my favorite museum recently, the British Museum in London. I was aware of a theory of sound propulsion to build the Egyptian pyramids, but I had not seen any evidence which suggested this. It wasn't until I was in the museum that I found some evidence of these cones from in and around that era. King Tut, thank you for the super chat. How apropos during the Egyptian section, King Tut says they erased Anu from history, too. King Tut says, like they did to me. Thank you, your emperor. The cone highlighted in the red circle wasn't just on one or two of the carved statues, but on dozens of them across various different sculptures, and interestingly, from different cultures, Egyptian, Sumerian, Babylonian, 
The other interesting thing in the photo is the bracelets the creature is wearing. Two identical bracelets with a circular plate. Kind of like a watch. I wonder what they did and why there are two of them. Let's check out the cone. There it is. Interesting. There is a debate that rages about how, between three and 5,000 years ago, this sound technology was invented. Could it have been created then? Some outright refute the claims. Supporters of the ancient astronaut theory, suggesting an alien race gave the technology to man. There are similar theories around many of the ancient stone structures, like the pyramids or the stone of the pregnant woman in Baalbek, Lebanon, which is a 650-ton monolithic block that was partly moved and then abandoned. No one knows why it was abandoned, but it was meant to be used in a Roman temple close by. There are alternative and possibly more plausible theories that suggest this and various other buildings like the pyramids were built using ropes and pulleys and round wooden bobbin-like structures to roll the stones. I always thought that a little odd though, writes the author, stone being heavier and denser than wood. Surely it would crush the bobbins. Which theory is true and what does it all mean? The author writes, I don't know, maybe we never will, but I certainly found it interesting and it made my mind race with ideas about technologies for future or past races. I'll leave you with a quote Leet Skalden is famed for saying on more than one occasion, quote, I have discovered the secrets of the pyramids and have found out how the Egyptians and the ancient builders in Peru the Yucatan and Asia, with only primitive tools, raised and set in place blocks of stone weighing many tons. Looks like it's time for that art. <laughs> <laughs>